I'm Danny Daniel, I'm the Managing Director of Active Plus and I'm sat outside the Health and Wellbeing Innovation Centre in Truro, which is where our head office is. So Active Plus is a community interest company we formed 11 years ago and we use the skills and experience of uh, ex-service personnel, wounded, injured and sick and retired military veterans to deliver confidence, motivation, resilience and leadership training. Don't forget, in the back here has been himself. We're working today with the Citizenship for Life program and we're getting the young adults to work with their mentors and doing some team building and communication exercises. The beauty of these activities is that they can be delivered to anybody, uh, whether you're a young person or an older isolated person. And we deliver this for partners and uh, at the moment we're working with Battling On and delivering it direct to veterans. So today at Maryhoo Farm um, we are working with our partners Battling On and we're doing a comms migration course through Active Plus for our military wounded injured and sick veterans. The participants are wounded injured and sick veterans um, through all four services and we are providing a service to provide comms motivation and improve their socialising skills to get them back into community service. My name is um, Stephen Curran and uh, I spent 23 years in the Royal Marines, um, joined at 18 and left in 2019 as a captain, uh, having taken a bunch of guys through training at Limston. That was my last decent job and uh, the reason I'm in the, at the farm today is to participate in the Active Plus um, project. Um, which I've certainly seen a lot of benefit in and I've seen a lot of guys working together quite a lot um, and this farm is very much about reinstalling that kind of camaraderie that you know these guys a lot of them sadly miss and this gives them a day or two days a week where they can come together have banter and succeed in little tasks whether it be building something or whether it be solving a puzzle or whether it be building bird boxes um, it, it, it's, it's a way of getting guys to come in one place who feel a little bit different to the civilian population and they get to just reenact some of the things that they've they've become accustomed to in the military although I've worked with different nations and you know different parts of the UK armed forces um, uh, and there are differences you know and we you know some units some regiments specialize in one thing or another but I think deep within the mentality of every military man is you know a, a, a belief in a group cause really you know and, and a wanting to to work together and succeed no matter what regiment what cat badge what sex you are everyone's been trained to a good standard and they naturally if they're not already having been in the military been away done exercises done training in a group environment you just become it's almost like you feel like you work best when you're part of a group and, and that, that's what these guys do they work as a group and, and everyone gets involved everyone gets out front now and again but it's all good humoured uh, and we take the mickey out of each other but it's it, you know it ends up with everybody laughing so in terms of it being vital to my week I, you know there are occasional weeks when I don't come but I really do miss it and when I come whether it be doing stuff on the farm working with the animals yomping over Dartmoor it, it's just an opportunity to get a slice of that life back in beginning of November 2009 I left the Marines and uh, I'd had a period of um, family issues um, due to a divorce and a custody battle, which is still ongoing. Uh, and that was at a time when we were hearing reports of Wuhan flu, uh, which suddenly became an international pandemic. So not only had I lost the military, um, it was very difficult to not be isolated in a, a flat that I was only ever going to stay in just to finish my degree and then I could move on with my life but the pandemic led to a sense of isolation uh, led to some you know mental health issues which I never thought I'd be 
you know, sort of vulnerable to. Yeah, this is probably at least one day a week where I can just feel a bit normal. Well, we've got a new challenge.